Hi, I'm Melissa Secor with the Village of Flowers in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm going to show you how to make a country arrangement in a basket. We're going to use a little old-fashioned oasis. Um, this is something that you'd soak in water for about three seconds. And I'm going to put this in the basket with a liner so that it doesn't leak. Okay, and now I'm going to add some floral tape to hold the oasis block in place so it doesn't move if you're having it delivered or it's a lot more stable. And this tape is waterproof, so it works great with a wet block of oasis. And I'm going to take hydrangea as a base. And I'm going to cut the stems pretty short. And you just insert a couple inches into the oasis block. And we're going to think about this arrangement as an all-around arrangement. So some would want to face the back as well. We're going to add some sweetheart roses. A little color. This is a great arrangement to take on a picnic. It's easy to transport. Something that's kind of romantic for a countryside arrangement. And now we've got lime green hypericum, which adds a little different texture and a little movement to the arrangement. Every once in a while, you want to turn your arrangement and see from both sides to make sure you're covering all of the ends. Hypericum comes in a lot of different colors. It comes in red, peach, burgundy, kind of a chocolate color, and white. Next, we're going to use a sort of a field flower. It's called sedum. And it's a nice flower that's sort of inexpensive that has the same kind of small flower texture as a hydrangea to fill in. It adds that softness without having to use baby's breath, so it can be a little more modern. And now we're going to add some hot pink roses. This would be a really sweet feminine country arrangement. And just like the hydrangea, the roses and all the other flowers are being inserted about couple of inches into the foam and that just holds them in place really nicely and it's better to go a little too long and then cut down from there you don't want to go too short because then you're stuck with a flower stem that's too short to use so we're almost finished um, we're just going to keep filling in with a few more flowers and a few more berries and to finish it off, we're going to add some moss around the edge for a nice woodsy feel, earthy. And it also covers up the edge of the tape and it covers up the oasis block. The last thing we're going to do is add a bow. We're going to wire that off. We're going to add it to the arrangement. We'll just cut these loops. And we've got a nice little country basket.